You may have come across some of these scenarios where few terms are sounding very similar to each other. Not only the name, sometimes the meaning behind it is also almost the same. But if we get into the detail of these words or these terminologies, probably we find the real difference between them. So today we are talking about testing and debugging as two different terms which might sound similar but actually are different. and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and today we are talking about testing and debugging. Now when we look at testing and debugging as a simple definition, we do understand that both are meant to find issues. When you talk about testing, testing has a very primary objective to find defects. Whereas the development or debugging activity also says that it is to evaluate the code and find errors in that. Now, obviously to an outsider who is new to testing will sound that the testing and debugging are almost same. So why do we have two different terminologies for that? Rather, why don't we call testing as debugging activity where you're trying to debug the application, not only the code. So yes, that could be a possible question to be asked to anyone. Now let's understand in more detailed way that how testing is different from debugging. The very first point when it comes to testing, it is only limited to finding the defects. By executing test cases, you experience failures on the application, the failed scenario will be reported to the developer and the developer analyzes your reported issue or defect and then finds out the root cause behind it. Team, it's not always possible that what you see on your screen is the exact effect. Sometimes there might be several reasons behind it or dependencies or any kind of external factors or constraints which might be causing the issue or defect. And that's really important for a developer to actually find out what's the root cause behind it because it's not always what you see. So. A developer gets into analyzing the defect reported by you, finds out the root cause behind it and then resolves that issue. He also fixes that issue and then reports back to you with an updated version of the module. Now what important thing we have understood here is one that testing is, is all about finding the defects but not getting into the analysis of it analyzing the root cause, identifying the root cause and resolving the issue. That's how testing is different from debugging. Testing does not get involved with analyzing the issue in detail and finding the root cause and resolving that. Whereas on the other side, these three activities are performed by debugging team. Our debugging team is generally called as development team. So developers get involved with the code try to analyze everything and find out the root cause behind it. Probably there might be some variables, some kind of control flow, some kind of dependency, some external factors, third party softwares, any kind of conflicts or complications can cause a defect in the system. So they try to get into exact thing that what was the root cause why this defect has happened. And not only technical, sometimes the documentation and work product factors also comes into picture that it might be due to misunderstanding of the requirement, it might be due to uh, non-availability of certain functionality or certain documentation, so we could not complete this detail, omissions, inconsistencies in details, probably that are some of the other range of issues which can actually lead to a defect. So root cause not only helps us to resolve the issue, but also helps us to improvise our process and understand which areas we need to do better job. Because if you know the root cause and you realize that it was due to requirement misunderstanding, then of course you need to put more effort during the review of the requirement. That means if you, it went out of you while you were busy doing the review earlier, you could not find this defect. That means your review was not effective at that point of time. And now we are getting a defect during the testing life cycle that these defects are due to misunderstanding of the requirement. Now, coming back to the point, when you talk about testing and debugging, testing only deals with finding defect. We do not analyze it, we do not find the root cause, we do not fix it. Whereas debugging, 
deals with analyzing the reported issue, getting into the root cause of it and resolving that issue. So what happens when people say that even automation tester do debugging or that's also called as testing? No. When you write something, now remember here you are not the one who is writing. Developer is writing a code and tester is reviewing the web, like validating it, testing it. But when it comes to the other part of it, like you become an automation, automation tester and you write a test script, you are the author of that code or that script. So when you again do the similar thing, you do a debugging activity because you find your errors in the script, trying to find the root cause behind it and then resolve it. So yes, debugging is an activity which is with respect to these major roles or these major responsibilities that is to analyze, find the root cause and resolve it. If anyone in the industry does these three things, we call it as debugging. Whereas just finding the issue is testing. So that's all from this particular episode team. I hope you really enjoyed it and had really great learnings from this to take away. We'll be getting back to you with another interesting episode of Testing in Nutshell. Stay tuned for that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. If you have anything else regarding the same, feel free to comment below and let us know. Thank you for watching the video team and happy learning.